Hello! I am... <laughs> I am here on the deck at uh, the dome workshop and I wanted to just go ahead and show you what I've been working on for the last couple of months. I know I've been keeping my blog Idea Propulsion Systems going, but I really took a break for a couple of months because I've been working on something new over the summer. Let me show it to you. So it's this time-lapse project. It's a motion control time-lapse camera rail and more importantly uh, is the book that I finally finished to go along with it. So this is my, uh, my next attempt at making a uh, do-it-yourself instruction manual and it's got, you know, like all the steps to setting up the circuitry, to making the, the little parts and assembling this. And if you look at it, what it is is it's a, it's a motion control rig that you can build yourself that will let you animate a camera so the camera will move along the track will move some distance, can take a picture, it can move... Hi Jen, good to see you, I just, I just saw you blink up there. You can move and take another picture. And I tried to make all of the mechanics as easy as possible to source and put together. So it does have a stepper motor, which is something you probably want to order, and a little switch. But the rest of it, the heavy duty construction, it's all metal and it's it's actually electrical conduit. Notice these are the little knockouts that you'd use for putting in plugs and stuff. So at this end, it's got a couple of feet. And then if you come around to this side, it's got a couple more feet. So the big idea is that it uses electrical conduit, something you could get at Home Depot or something. This is a plug cover. And it's actually really solid. It's It's made of metal. It also means that the only tools you need for adjusting the legs tend to be stuff like this. Here's a wrench. You put this on there and loosen it, tighten it, and also a screwdriver. Uh, and uh, I could show you really quick the, the inside of it. This is for the, the geeks out there. So it's an electrical box. And it uses a really, a really standard kind of uh, microcontroller. It's an Arduino. Those of you that are into building stuff with that, you probably recognize it. If not, I kind of cover it in the book. It's actually a lot easier to use than it even looks here. There's some little, little circuitry that the book walks through how to put together. Put this back on there for a second. And that little controller has a little, a little computer program that runs in it that lets you control the actions of the camera and there's a handheld controller at the end of this wire. Uh, conveniently enough, built out of a little little Altoids tin. Hey, Andrea. I see uh, Andrea just joined. There's a little Altoids tin. And the program that lives inside of here is something you can download for free that, that I wrote. And you can use it with this or some other project you want. But I'll give you a little demo first. So when it starts up, you've got this and I could go into the moves menu and I'll click on home. It's just gonna rewind the camera all the way back to home. Whoops. As luck would have it, the wire got stuck right there, but it goes back to home. Now we're back home and I can move it manually by holding down this button. You could set it to different locations. I have a little program already built in, so I'm going to send it home again. <laughs> there it is. And the, the big idea is you would set up your camera. You'd set up your camera so you have a view of something out there. Yeah, it's kind of nice something out there that would have clouds or something else that's going to play out throughout the day. Flowers opening, flowers closing, a forest fire coming down the hill, anything you want to capture in time lapse. And you'd set it up and what I have in here is a little program. If I just go back to the main menu here, 
we can go over here to start. I'll hit that. And I'll hit start. It goes to the first area and takes a picture automatically. If you heard it, there's a little timer. It's going to count down to the next picture. A few seconds to go. Takes another picture. So it's done two frames. It's going to count down again. Four. Let's it. It lets it settle for a couple of seconds and then it takes a picture. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited. Although when you're doing time lapse, the excitement tends to play out over a long time. Uh, so wear sunblock, get yourself situated in the shade somewhere, bring water. But uh, I'm going to include some links and uh, in the comments for this video that will let you check out some videos that I've done this way. Uh, it's really fun. If anybody's seen uh, the, the Netflix original series House of Cards, you might have seen the beginning sequence of that show. It was all done with a camera system like this. You've got motion of the camera kind of moving along, but everything's happening in uh, fast motion time lapse. That's the kind of effect this will let you do, and uh, you're going to have a heck of a lot of fun making your own version. Here's the... I'm going to pitch, pitch the book one more time. Here we go. <laughs> Check out my, uh, my book. I'll put a link, but if you want to do this, maybe you've never really built anything before electronics-wise, or you have a friend that's into this, this might make a good gift. It's a download right now you can get from my blog. It walks you, it's going to walk you through everything. You need to know how to set it up, how to build that little handheld controller you just saw that has the little Altoids. I go through and show you how to wire it. I'll show you where to download the open source software and how to connect, Woo! How to connect the, uh, the camera up. Move, let's see how many frames we've got. We've recorded, we've recorded 13 frames. Here it goes again. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, it, it would be a fun, oh yeah, if you have questions about how to hook up the stepper motor, I have a uh, little motor here. There's some instructions that kind of walk you through. So really the uh, the big idea is it should help you to do this without any prior experience if you're just interested in doing something electronic and mechanical you're a, you're a photographer you want to take it to the next level and make your own piece of equipment be the envy of your DIY friends then uh, you should uh, get the book and uh, if the book doesn't make sense just email me I'll, uh, I'll help you. <laughs> anyway, hope you've had a good, uh, good time. Hope you're having a great weekend now. And, uh, you know, send me, send me your comments and questions and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.